you say to people. If you're gonna drink to where you get stupid, you need to stay inside your apartment. I don't want to get called back here, you're gonna go to jail. I'm Mia Shagney. I'm Sarah Ramsey. And we're partners with the Dallas Police Department. No, no, Sarah, <laughs> hold on, Sarah, wait. It's like you hear music. Constantly. Constantly. When we're on our calls, we're so serious, and when we get back in the car, we need to release some stress and laugh about it. It doesn't matter what song is playing, there will always be one hand up in the air. Someday you'll be as cool as I am. Being partners is really great. So I always feel like I have somebody there. And we have a lot of fun in the car. I think that if we weren't able to laugh, I think we would kill each other. I'd kill you first. Mm, negatory. Only because I'm more vicious. I'm, I am way meaner than you are. You think? Oh, yeah. We're on patrol. It's near the end of our shift. And then all of a sudden, this woman starts flagging us down. Did you see that lady? Yeah, I think she's trying to wave us down. She's hollering at something. Let's go check her out. He out of control. He's out of control. Yeah. Come here. Y'all have been out here before. What's the deal? Who is here, this? Sit down. I don't know who the hell she is. OK, sit down. I'm his, I'm his wife. Sit down. She ain't Sit down. Me. Sit down. She's my husband. I got marriage license. OK. He's in here. What happened earlier? This woman is telling us that she has just been beaten up by her husband. He came home and started dumping on me, just started beating me up. What Where? Is what is your first name? In our living room. Lamarcus. Spell it. Yes. I started talking to him, and he starts telling me, well, he's all upset because she did something with his computer modem, and he doesn't know where it is, and he got really mad over it. And I come back home, and my computer modem is gone. OK. You done took my sh that I'll pay for. Okay, let me explain something to you. When you live with somebody and you're married, that's her property too. She took it. That's her she property. Said, you don't have one. I go over there to try and make sense of the story, and he's getting really agitated. You can't talk to me no any kind of way. I got somebody. Yeah, I can. Come pick me up. F you. I got somebody coming to pick me up. Give me your. I don't give a about all this. No, on the ground. What? 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 Do not get up. As soon as this guy broke away from me. I knew the fight was on. I knew he wasn't going to be nice to either one of us anymore. What? What? You're going to get him on the face and say what the f*** you want to say, f*** you. Give me your hands. This guy's pretty strong, and it's just the two of us. And it hits me. I'm going to have to pepper spray this guy. Put your hands behind your back. What? Put your hands behind your back. What are you trying to do? Oh. Uh. Charlie, two, two, one, send us the update. <laughs> Pepper spray feels like someone took off a couple layers of skin and poured on some hot sauce. It literally feels like possibly someone took your face and put it on a burner. I'm thinking this guy's in some pain. Get him on his belly. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! This is just a perfect example of how it's great that I have a partner because I know I always have somebody there right when something can turn really, really bad. What's wrong with him? Is he on drugs or uh -huh. anything? Yeah. What's what is he, he on? Crack. Yeah. Right. Somebody that smokes crack is just going to be mean to you. That's right. How long have you been with him? We've been together off and on two years, but we've been married a year. Has he been abusive for a while? Yeah. yeah. Ready to leave him? Uh, yeah. I am. Are you ready to leave him for the fact that he tried to fight us? 